Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, greetings, my humble lot of subscribers. I am your humble host, Shadow Cookie, and I welcome you all back to Let's Play Lone Survivor episode number two. A game that most certainly doesn't need to hide itself, simply because it has old 8 bit graphics and the like. Nope, this game can in fact rival the kings of horror such as Silent Hill, would you believe it? And that is quite saying a lot. So, when we last of with our humble little character here, yes, everything is humble in my world, the lone survivor had just left his bed to examine the apartment. An apartment he simply hijacked within this apocalypse, it would seem. Yes, indeed, for that is the scenario of this game. A lone survivor trapped within a gigantic apartment complex in a post-apocalyptic future all by himself. Supplies running out, no living soul next to his existence. It is a sad tale, really. However, the tale has only just begun. It is nowhere close to be finished. We are the lone survivor, and we must find, <laughs> well, other survivors. For we do not wish to die alone. And that is basically the summary of what has happened so far. We woke up from a strange nightmare, we examined our apartment, and now we are about to leave it leave our safe haven and stumble into the dangerous outside world. The dangerous outside world of other apartments, corridors, stairways, etc, etc, etc. With creepy monsters probably lurking behind every corner, it's gonna be such a delightful adventure, really. Now then, if only I could recall everything that happened within the very first episode, let me take a quick look at my inventory. So, as far as I remember, we did find the key to the front door, of course. We also found a diary page. Oh yes, which one was this again? I believe it was a diary page written in sort of a childish way by somebody named Draco. Somebody who apparently did not really trust the other survivors he met all that much. Talking about putting a bullet inside of their brains. That certainly sounds delightful. What else though? Ah yes, of course, how could I forget? We also found this cat toy here. A cat plush that we can actually talk to. It's still so very insane. I don't know what's the purpose. Why would I want to talk to a stuffed animal? Why? Am I really that insane already? The game has only just begun for crying out loud. Well, I guess I can do it again for good measure. It's a new day. Let's talk to our Mr. What's his name again? I already forgot. Isn't he adorable? Yes, he certainly is, my friend, and you are creeping me the fuck out. Let's talk to him. I do love you, kitty. And thank the Lord that once again did not respond to my sentence there. Oh, Jesus Christ, I would be so fucking freaked out if it would actually respond. But plush, the animals don't talk. Yeah, monsters don't exist either. Now then, Mr. Flashlight, it seems that we have a very, very hard and bothersome day ahead of us. We must find other survivors, we must find suppliers, we must find something, alright? And therefore, we will now need to leave our safe haven, our stolen apartment, something I am not looking forward to at all. Also, Hmm, I wish I knew what... where is it? Where is it? How many of them? There we go. I wish I knew what this green pill does. I mean, sure, if I would just find a random pill on the floor here within the real world, I wouldn't know what to do with it, and I would most certainly not just swallow it. But ladies and gentlemen, this is sort of a warning, really. Please don't give me spoilers. Please. I've heard something about the that uh, Jesus Christ. I've heard something about that the pills can actually influence the ending you receive at the very end of this game. Therefore, no spoilers, please. I'd like to find out what all the items and pills and blah 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 etc. do myself. Thank you so very much. Now then, I've been standing about here within my apartment long enough already. It is time to accomplish something marvelous. Time to show some courage, determination, and bravery. Oh dear, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I mean, so far I've only seen this apartment, but the atmosphere is already so very overwhelming. I really feel like I am some kind of lone survivor in a oh-so-desperate situation. It's not making me feel comfortable. It's in fact trying to scare the wits out of me, and it's working. I have only seen one monster yet within the tutorial dream of this game, so to speak, and it scared me. So what the hell will the rest of the game be like? Yes, I know, one at all. There's only one way to find out, of course. This is day number two. Hmm, maybe I should have taken another look at the diary. Yes, indeed. I'll post phone time whenever I get the chance. Hello? Where is it? There we go. 
Read the diary. Is there anything new? Let's have a look. Uh, nothing exciting happened today. In fact, I believe this is the very same entry I already read yesterday. But somebody told me to read it again. It's like some kind of invisible force pushing me in front of this table or forcing me to read the same entry twice. I need to get out of this apartment. I need to get away from that voice talking into my mind. It's just crazy. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So there's nothing new inside the diary. What a shame. Okay, doesn't matter, Mr. Lone Survivor. I tried to post fun time for your sake, for our both sake. But looks like luck has run out at long, long last. Let's use the key. Oh gosh, yeah, let's use the key. Let's unlock our safe haven. Let's remove the seal that protects us from harm. Oh gosh. Use the key. Come on, TLC. Don't be a fucking pussy. Here you go. So wait, did I actually use it or what? Hello, Mr. Lone Survivor. Uh, could you please try to use the key? Thank you very much. Oh boy. There he goes. I used the key to 206. I'll get rid of it now. Aha, so it's a little bit like Resident Evil Mechanics, only that your character actually just drops the key and doesn't just ask you. I believe he always asked you in like Resident Evil, the remake and etc. I should probably get some sleep before I go out there. Don't want to forget what I'm doing. Oh, no worries, sir. The episode has only just started. You had a nap. Don't be a coward now. I mean, I am being a coward as well, but you don't need to be the bigger coward of us. No, it's enough if there's one coward. One needs to act brave and strong in the face of danger. And that humble individual shall be you. Yes, indeed, once again, everything is humble, just fine and dandy. Now then, the apartment has been unlocked. There's also one thing I just remembered. There was like a little scribble? Or note in one of the rooms about survivors hiding out in a different apartment, but which one was it? Like, I don't think that this game keeps notes all that much, so I probably need to keep all the important stuff in mind myself. Let's have a quick look. Where did I stumble upon? You know, where did I stumble upon? Ah, yes, of course, I'm being so silly right now. This very diary entry here, this diary page, uh, wasn't about or wasn't written by the Draco person. No, this was in fact the little piece of writing I found that informed me about other survivors. Let's have another quick look. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Am I? Am I really screwing up now? Jeez, my mind is totally in the gutter. This is the entry by Draco. Yes, indeed. Putting a bullet inside of their brains. Let's not uh, blah blah blah. I'll be waiting with the survivors. Yes, he is waiting for the survivors, but... Where was the entry with, like, um, the number to that one apartment? Or am I just totally going insane now? Was there even another number? I'm pretty sure there was one. But where? Like, where did I find it? Where did I see it? Uh, I can't remember. I so can't remember at all. Was there anything here inside the... Oh, wrong door, excuse me. Was there anything inside of the um, living room? If this is the living room, whatever you want to call it. Not really. Hmm. Well, I hope that my lone survivor friend here kept it in mind. Oh, well, I know, ladies and gentlemen, I know I've postponed time to no end, of course. But now I am ready. Now I must face the consequences of being stuck inside a post-apocalyptic situation. I'll need to fight for my survival. And oh Jesus Christ, I'm so not ready for this. <sighs> Goodbye, beautiful world. I'll miss you dearly. Here we go. Oh my. I remember those sounds from the tutorial. That staticky radio noise. Footsteps. It's one of them, isn't it? It's one of these walking, fleshy, humanoid creatures. I just know it. And I still do not have a name for them. I guess I'll come up with one soon, but first of all, oh dear. Oh, Jesus Christ, it would be extremely dark right now without a light source. And who knows, maybe my flash head will now actually start to run out of energy now that I have left my apartment, but we are here. Pick up map of 
second floor. Oh, thank the lord, it's a map. Oh, <laughs> this is like silent, huh? I wouldn't want to go anywhere without my trusty map. Grab it, you fool. I got the map of Wing Court 2F, second floor. Hmm. Press M to have a look at the map. It looks like something's already marked on here. Oh, really, is it? Let's take a look. Well, that's an interesting map if I ever saw one. Oh dear. 203. Hmm, was that the room? Ah, now I remember! It's all coming back to me now. I actually listened to something on the radio. That's where I heard about a different group of survivors hiding out somewhere. A. It was a radio transmission or something. Of course. Jesus Christ, TSC. What's wrong with you? Ah, of course. No, wait, wait, wait. This is something entirely different. It's totally unrelated to the radio, I believe. 203. That was... Hmm, how do you pronounce that name? Chi? That was Chi's place, wasn't it? Why would anyone mark it on here? And who is Chi, anyway? I'll try and make my way there, anyway. Okay, it seems that we have a goal. Oh, Jesus Christ, this map... This map, I just realized it's like turned upside down, like I'm looking into a mirror. Like, I'm standing in front of an apartment. I'm standing in front of an apartment, but a map makes it seem like I'm standing on top of the apartment. Like, you can see the room down there in the lower um, right corner. It's like totally backwards and turned upside down. Oh, that's gonna make navigating this place very delightful. So, let's see what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six apartments. Six apartments, one donut-shaped hallway, or series of hallways and corridors, plus two stairways and one fire escape. I have the only fire escape, it seems. Interesting. So, green bars mark opened doors, red ones locked doors. Oh, mirrors are also marked on the map. I remember the mirror. When I examined it, something strange happened. Maybe we can find another one. Who knows? Maybe we can connect the two. That would certainly make sense. You, bad, special. Yes, indeed. Oh, well. I guess the only thing we can do right now is <laughs> move to a location different than this one right now. Oh, yeah. That leather that was pinned to the map. Oh, yes, there was something pinned to the map, wasn't it? Read it now, save it for later. I don't see any reason as to why we shouldn't read it right away. Might as well read the letter then. Might as well read the letter then, whatever. Don't set off without a map. It's an old letter. Even if you do know your way around, things keep changing, you see. By the way, I think I have a way to get past those things. I worked out they're attracted to the stench of decay when I'm having trouble getting past them. I'll leave some rotten meat down to one side of a hiding spot. Then I can hide as they come towards me. It's best to avoid them, you know. Or, you see. There's no signature on it. Well, that was a very random letter, you see. Okay, so you can apparently use rotten meat to distract these things. Now I actually have a reason to go back to that fridge, I believe. I'll put some new batteries in. Wait, what? Are you telling me that the thing has run out of... No, 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 no. It has run out of juice already? You're shitting me, right? So I put new batteries in, that's uh, all nice. Jesus, look at that! Uh, you see that? This fucking thing drains like... Oh my god! <laughs> Only a few seconds! And it already lost about 10% of juice! What? Come on now, is this afraid of monsters all of a sudden? The flash head in that game was horrible! What kind of old model is this bloody thing? The fucking flash that runs out faster than you can say, oh, watch out for the energy supply if you're- Oh, damn it. Oh. I'm so confused now. Why, flashlight? I thought I could trust you. I wanted to put my life into your hands, but no. 
Well, I guess I can still see certain things, but that's not helping much. I need to be more strategical with this thing. But blah, damn. This flashlight, it runs out faster than the fucking road run out runs while the coyote. Can you believe it? Oh my. Hmm, if only they hadn't locked it when the outbreak started. Oh great, so all of the doors are locked. Well, most of them. That's that's Danny. That's delightful. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't care. I so don't care. No, wait. I care immensely. Now then. The only way we can really take it seems is uh, through one of the apartments. Maybe. But there is something in our way, I presume. Hello. Gonna take a quick look. Gonna use my light very strategically. There's a big pot plant here. It's too dark. Oh, really? You can also only examine things while it's bright? Of course. Just another excuse to make me waste my flashlight juice. Hello, Chuck. Wait, what? Chuck. You named a gigantic pot plant Chuck. Not only do you talk to stuffed animals, but you also call the pot plant Chuck. Is this a joke? Come on, dude. Oh, man, I don't like this. Aha, uh -huh, so there's a hiding spot here, right here. But where's the creature? Oh, it's, it's close. It's so very close. What is it anyway? Like a former human that got infected by the virus? And now it's just a humanoid piece of flesh or something? That's not disturbing at all. Yes, it is. It is so very disturbing. But where is it? Whoa. Oh, God. Ah! No, 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 no. Run, run, run. Hide, 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 hide. Jesus. So how am I gonna do this? How do I need to lure it over here. Like I need to lure it past the hiding spot so I can proceed with my quest. Oh boy. Ah! Oh my mama, no mama, no mama, help, help, Jesus Christ, no, 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 no. How am I supposed to lure? Oh yeah. I just had a random thought, something completely obvious, but yet I forgot about it already because of the confusion of the moment. Sneaking past that thing doesn't seem to be all that simple. Unless, of course, we try to distract it. <sighs> it's no good. I can't get past. Maybe I need something to distract it. Oh, really? How did you acquire that random thought, Mr. Lone Survivor? Well, it is true though. Needs something to eat. Oh great, so now he is hungry. He needs something to munch on. Great, well munch on the rotten meat, sir. Nah, just kidding, but... Hungry. I know you are hungry, sir, but one thing after the other, please. Jesus, this is really one of these games where you can't just stand still like I usually do. <sighs> Wait, what's that smell? Yes, I know, sir. And whatever it is, it is time to grab it out of the fridge and take it with you. Let's see what it is. I can hardly bear to touch this. It's piles of rotting meat. Really? Piles of the stuff? Jesus Christ, who would store this kind of... Th Ugh. I take six pieces of meat for now. It's the most I can handle. No sir, six pieces is already quite a lot. I would have guessed to take one, but fucking six of them? Jesus Christ. Well, here we have them, and we can also eat them. That's disgusting, really. Blah, eat rotting meats. I really don't want to know what could happen as a result of it. Chunks of decaying meat. Why am I carrying these around? Well, because an invisible voice inside your head told you to, good sir. Learn to live with it. I mean, if you talk to fucking stuffed animals and pot plants, you really shouldn't be surprised about... Yeah, he's hungry, alright? so hungry. Well, believe me, I'd like to give you something to eat, but the only thing I had was rotten meat, like seriously. I could give you this stuff, but what would be the consequences? I'm not feeling too tempted about giving you food poisoning. Gosh. Well, looks like we'll need to search for something better than just rotten meat, and therefore, let's see if this actually works. Let's place a piece of rotten meat down here. Oh, gosh. Uh, wait, 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 let's place it down here. Oh gosh, what am I about to do? This is a very suicidal plan indeed. 
Okay, I'll place a hunk of meat down. Whoa. Oh man. Sounds like it likes it. It likes it a lot. Oh Jesus Christ. Yes, and they just walk past me, ignore me. My existence does not matter to you. Yeah. There's a door here. Oh, and there's a wall in the way as well, so let's quickly head inside this apartment, whatever it could be. Oh my god, there's another one. Where am I? Oh gosh, there I am. So wait a second. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god! Ah! Ah! I'm getting scared, what the fuck is going on? Like, there's another one right off the bat? Oh gosh. Get me out of here. This game is not fucking around. My stomach's growling. Shut up, sir. I'm trying to focus here. Where am I anyways? Oh, this map layout. It's freaking driving me insane. So now we're uh, we're somewhere, all right, inside a corridor. I presume. Yes, indeed. Just had to abandon that one apartment for the sake of not getting eaten. What do we have here? Look at shelves. Sure, why the hell not? Some good books in their collection. Borrowed a few in my time. Well, it's nice that you like good literature, sir, but that's not helping us. Not at all. Okay, there's a bat here. And how does it look like about our flashlight? Oh, only 77 left. Come on. There's monsters about. I don't think it's a good idea. Yeah, I'd probably prefer to sleep within my stolen apartment. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, I know. I know. We'll find you something to eat. Don't you worry, but let me... Let me try to focus for a second. Here we have an old note, it seems, on the table or on the floor. Let's see. I got a crumpled old note. Well, can we read it? Maybe. Let's read it over here. Let's not waste any more of our flashlights. <laughs> yeah, let's not waste any of our several flashlights. I'm just kidding. Let's not waste our flashlight juice. What does this old letter have to say? A crumbled message. Okay, let's read it. I strongly advise against listening to Draco. Oh my, somebody else who doesn't like that Draco fella. The man's a danger to what's left of society. He may be right that you need to defend yourself when there's no other solution. But what I'm trying to say is, there are usually other ways round the problem than violence think on it. There's no signature at the bottom yet again. Oh dear. So, Draco says, do not trust them, just kill them, kill them to no end until their brains are splattered all across the walls. Yet this other person, who didn't leave a signature, says, no, it's wise to just avoid them, do not kill them. I wonder if he or she is talking about the monsters. Well, I can't even kill them right now, so I'm not even gonna try. Look at shoes. They only make things hear you coming. What? Oh, I'm such a fool. They only make things hear you coming. So is my character not wearing shoes right now? Oh dear, that's an interesting fact to know. I didn't even notice. So where does this go door go to? Oh gosh, even the... What was that? Did I just hear something? Never mind. Even the map is dark without a flashlight on. This is not gonna be a simple journey at all. Hello. Well, this is not creepy at all. Shattered. What's shattered? Flashlight? What the hell is this? Like, it's a bathroom, but there's a ginormous hole in the wall. Oh, goody. And the walls are covered in blood. Fucking beautiful. What do we have in here? I don't even want to imagine how this happened. So everything's broken down, eh? The bath? Oh yes, the bath is like half of it's completely gone. Just torn away. <laughs> Thought it's disgusting, alright? So what could be behind this hole? Do I really want to climb inside? I only have 40% of my flashlight left. This is crazy! So it looks like this leads into... Oh! Well, what do you know? This actually leads back to our apartment. So it's like a shortcut? It leads into the, um, into the bathroom of our apartment, and the bathroom is located inside of the only room we couldn't enter due to the lack of a key. 
this could be interesting, all right. I prefer my safe haven over everything, so... I know you're hungry, you're everything. Let's climb into the hole for good measure. Oh gosh, I feel so helpless right now. No, it's just my imagination. What's your imagination? Is the hole not real? What the hell is that? I wonder. Enter the hole or forget about it. Let's do it, because I'm feeling suicidal today. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh dear. What's going on? So I just climbed back out of the hole. I'll put some new batteries in. Wait, you have more batteries at your disposal? He does. So how many batteries do we have left anyway? Well, they are gone from my inventory, that is. Hmm. Interesting to note. Oh well. Let's see, let's see. Maybe we have infinite batteries. That would be certain. That would be a certainty. No, that's not a certainty at all, but it would be a pleasure. Now let's head back into the hole for crying out loud. Oh gosh. Hello? This room doesn't seem natural. Everything's distorted. Somebody in here? Anybody? Good god, what am I getting myself into here? What is this place? I don't like this. Hello? Anybody at all? Whoa. Come on now, buddy. Don't you distort on me as well. Ah! I need your sanity. Mine's not enough to take care of this nightmare. Come on now, stay with me. Everything's getting more and more distorted. What the fuck? This corridor doesn't seem to end. Oh god, is that... It is. Oh fuck me, there's a monster inside of here. Oh, why is it so dark? It's not even on the map anymore. Where the fuck am I? Hello? Wait. The monster sound is gone. Is somebody trying to fuck with me or what? Oh, Jesus. Please don't let there be something behind me. Something that chases me around. Is this ever going to end? Hello? Um... Whoa, 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 what the fuck is this? There's no way this is still in my apartment block. Nope, not at all, sir. I admit, this is not normal one bit. What are we supposed to do? What the- ah! What the fuck? Ah, what? A heart? What the fuck is this? Oh my god, I'm running. What the fuck, I'm so- Jesus, what the fuck? Oh my god. A huge organic pile of flesh. Oh Jesus, this is so wrong. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. Come on. Wait, what? Ugh, I'm through. Jesus, thank the Lord for that. I thought it was never going to end. Hey, there's another mirror. Well, that's nice of you to notice right away. It's just like the one in my apartment. Really? Jesus Christ! Feel close to collapsing. Really, dude? Oh my god, well, I don't blame you, to be honest. I don't blame you at all. This is getting crazy! That long hallway. Did you see what was in there? A huge fucking pile of flesh. A heart, he said. A fucking heart in the background of that long corridor. And that monster out of nowhere. Jesus, this game, what's happening? This is only the very beginning and I'm already feeling so very helpless. I don't have food. Oh gosh, and where am I? Like, I am at a totally different location than I assumed I would end up. Good God. I don't know what's happening anymore. Are there any resources? Pick up prank crackers. Oh yay, I got the bag of pran crackers. It's better than nothing, I guess. Crispy and tasty. These have survived well. Well, good sir, chuck them down. It's gonna make you stay alive a little bit longer. Mmm, crispy. There you go. Now then, let's examine that mirror for a good measure. 
Look deeply into it. Yes, sure. Why the hell not? Hopefully it will serve as some kind of teleportation device. I could use a bath, <laughs> but... What just happened to me? Did I black out or something? I don't know how I got here. But I guess it's good to be home. Well, it depends on, sir. It really depends on if you want to call this place home. To me, it's just the only safe haven within this nightmare. So, what can I say? Jesus Christ! This is just fucking insane! So, the lone survivor gets hungry like crazy to know, and he also feels tired. And, well, I knew all of that already, but I'm just so confused right now. That corridor, that was freaky as all hell, man. What was up with that gigantic heart? Like, is that a result of the infection? What is real and what is not real anymore? I have no idea. Oh boy, that fucking monster just appeared out of nowhere, chasing me. It was fucking chasing me, I knew it. They have chase sequences in this game. Brilliant. Just fucking lovely and dandy at all. And I didn't accomplish a darn thing this far. I just managed to get creeped the fuck out of whatever. Jesus. I, d I don't know what to say anymore. So we were back inside of our apartment. I guess I could use the bat. First of all though, I am not really all that satisfied yet with my exploration thus far. I want to see more. A little bit. Just a little bit more. Can we use the mirror again by chance? Look deeply into it. Sure, why the hell not? What could possibly go wrong? I almost feel like I never left my apartment. Like I just looked into the mirror and the very first time I did it I collapsed and now woke up again. It was just another fucking nightmare. Whoa! So this is apartment 205, eh? Pick up squid stick. What? What the fuck's a squid stick? It's too dark to see. Oh, come on. Don't make me waste my flashlight. Jerk. I got the dried squid on a stick. Well, that's tasty, I guess. Why would somebody leave a dried stick on a squid? The other way around. Just on the floor here. Do these things really survive this long? I don't know. I wouldn't want to be the one to taste it. But oh well, maybe we won't have a choice in this apocalypse. Now what could be behind this very door? Does this like lead back into the um back into the corridor? Let's have a look. Oh my gosh. Yep, there's another one. Another one of these fucking bloody things. Let's leave the flashlight turned off for the moment. Hello. So I'm still within a apartment, it seems, within the uh, front lobby of an apartment. And this very door right here leads out into the main hallway. Ugh, but it's jammed, of course it'd be jammed. Is there like a hiding spot here? Hello? Oh my gosh. No, wait. Aha, this is the main hallway. Why is this map so confusing? But there's another monster right around the corner. Good god, they are everywhere. I'd like to get past this thing here. Yeah. Ah! And there's something behind it. But what? Let's risk getting seen. Ah, uh, it's just a picture! Ah, it's just a picture! So, this is a problematic situation, isn't it? There are monsters, everything. I am losing it here. I know you are, sir, but don't you dare collapse on me now. We can find a way out of this madness. Somehow. Wait, wait, wait. Am I wasting my flash right now? No, there's a light source here. Thank God. So let's see. I hope that I'm not losing, you know, stamina at all while I am looking at the map. So, there are monsters everywhere. All in the hallway, inside of this apartment, even inside of the last apartment. Like, I can't examine the rooms at all unless I c somehow manage to kill these things. What I would like to know is if you can walk past them, you know? Like, if you walk up to them, will they block your path and just attack you? Or can you actually try to walk through them, like just around them? It would make sense, even though this is just 2D, you know? Anybody? I'm guessing though I shouldn't really test out my luck. Could lead to something bad. So, so far today, um, day one has been, no, day two has been quite unsuccessful. Let's see, what happens if I head back into the hole? Will the heart still be there, or will I end? You're hungry again? 
I just gave you something, you greedy bastard. Will the fucking heart be still there? Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm never going back in there. Oh yeah, I mean, what could possibly go wrong by going into the hallway with the gigantic organic plant covering all the walls? Well, I'm assuming that everything could go wrong. So let's just forget about it altogether. So I guess I'll wait with feeding him something else for now unless he really needs something. I don't want to waste the only food I still have. So let's see. Let's examine one of the corridors. Don't mind me, good sir. I'm just, uh, you know, trying to uh, survive in this madness. You look like a numb body creature. Yes, your body looks certainly numb. Twisty or shaky, whatever. Twitchy, yes, that's what I'm looking for. Twitchy and numb. Should I call you a twitcher or a numb body? I can't decide yet. Whoa. Now my character starts to look a little bit tired. Don't you worry, sir. We will uh, go back to your room very soon. I just want to know what's out here. Oh, really? Damn. I'm gonna have to creep past this one. If I can just get behind it, that is. Oh, gosh. So you want me to actually sneak after it or something? How am I gonna get past this thing? There's no hiding spot. At least I can't see one. Or maybe the hiding spots are so fucking hidden. Oh, there is a hiding spot here. Awesome. But I'm not gonna bother with it for now. Yeah. I want to get back to my room this way. Good god, they are fucking everywhere. Into the mirror we go. I've seen worse. <laughs> Whee! Welcome back to apartment 206, one and all. Our safe haven. And I hope that it will never get assaulted by the monsters. Yes, I know you're losing it here, sir, and therefore we will take a nice, lovely nap for now. Use the bat. I could use something to eat, but... Oh, Jesus, sir. You know what? You know what? Don't sleep right now. I'm just gonna feed you the fucking dried squid, whatever. No, do not read the diary. Eat something. Come on, where is it? There we go. Squid stick. I'm not sure about this one. Not so sure. Oh, well. Nom 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 nom. Ugh, disgusting. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was a bad idea, alright. Did fill me up, though. Well, as long as it doesn't give you food poisoning, I guess the situation is not escalating. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, what can I say? This was episode number two of Let's Play Lone Survivor. Not as long as the first, but hey, I don't always want them to be like a freaking hour-long project. In any case, what are you thinking this far? I have to say, this game is difficult. Like, I wasn't expecting it to get this difficult right off the bat. I mean, <clears throat> normally most games nowadays like to hold your hand a little, you know, tutorial areas and the like, but no, this game, it's not fucking around. It immediately throws all kinds of monsters, well, several of the same kind at us. Our character gets hungry to no end, he gets tired, he just can't take this anymore, the flesh runs out of juice faster than you can say something, something, a word I cannot think of right now. It's just insane. This game... What have I gotten myself into here? Like, this game... It's not fucking around. It's testing you. It's a test. A test to the shit. <laughs> what an awkward thing to say. Well, TSE, you know what that means. You'll need to sack up and survive this nightmare just like you survived. Cry of fear. At least the main campaign and doctor mode this far. Well then, one and all, as I was saying, my name is TSE. And the lone survivor shall have his nap for now. Let him have his rest. I'll have a snooze. Until next time. <laughs>